Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to create PDFs for the data you capture or maintain in your apps. You can use this feature for creating invoices, work orders, reports, checklists and much more. So let's take an example to see how to do this. Here I have created an app for incident report that captures the incident details. From the data captured by using this app, I would like to generate a PDF report for every submission. To do this, we go to the design app and the first step is to always create the app interface as you can see here. Then we go to step 2 for configuration. Under configuration, we click on print settings. And on the right panel, we can configure the PDFs. So I'll click on add print template. And over here, you can give a name to your PDF. For example, I will type in incident report. Then I'll click on the button here. And just like any regular document, you can enable headers and footers. And in the body, you can enter some text. You can insert images or hyperlinks, maybe format your text. And you can also insert tables. So now I will set the template for the incident report. You can also have a dynamic print. For example, if you need to pull data from certain fields in your app, instead of manually typing them in, you can do this by calling variables of those fields by typing in at the rate along with the field name. If you want to verify the variables to check if they are right or if you want to know what the variables are, you can go back to the app and then check for the variables that is available at the top of every field in brackets. So for the incident number, you can see report ID is the variable name. So by calling in the variables, you can actually pull information that has been submitted automatically. Since I already have a template ready, I will just go ahead and copy and paste it over here. I have now set the template for my incident report. I have also added the variable for the signature block as well as the camera image and files block which can capture images, videos or documents. Now I will enable the header and insert the company logo over here. To check your headers, you can always resize the box here. Now I can change the width of this image. I will also enable the footer. Expand this box. And my template is now set. So I can go ahead and save this. Now let's see how to view your PDF. We go to App Home and first I will make a submission. So let me just do that really quickly. Now I click on submit to make a submission. To view all your submissions, you can go to the submissions tab. And once you click on a submission, a right hand panel will appear that has captured all the details as you can see over here. Now to view your PDF, you can simply click on the PDF button over here and you will be able to see the print preview of your PDF. So you can see the header which was the logo captured over here as well as the footer. And all the details of the submission is automatically captured through the variables. You can then save this as PDF to your system. To send PDFs that you have configured to relevant teams or maybe to some managers, you can automate the process by going to Design App and then Step 3 which is Workflows. You can click on Add Step and you can use the email node to send it as attachments on the right hand panel over here. So in this way you can configure and send your PDFs. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of PDFs, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.